Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in the last video, I was showing you, um, I was working with the big, large stencils from Timu, set of eight. And today, I am going to uh, be working with uh, these stencils. These are also from Timu, and it's also a set. And this is how they come with this ring, uh, binder ring. And also for new Timu customers, you can purchase through my link and save 50% and also receive $100 coupon bundle. And I'm going to link these stencils and I'm also going to link these stencils too, if you're interested. So um, I was showing these stencils in my other uh, videos, but I wanted to show you something. Um, the... Uh, prints that I did in my previous video, I actually already added in this trashy Halloween journal. So for example, here I made it into a page. Let me see if this is showing. So that's the spider web from the large, um, from this set. Then I had a few more somewhere here. I made a page. So that's just uh, when I was cleaning the roller, here is that um, page and I stamped so you can stamp on it too. So that's just a flip here and I'm going to be showing this, I hope this journal is coming up next. Here I just included this as an extra page that you can do uh, projects with, see how pretty this design is. So. I'm not done with this journal yet, but I wanted to show you here. I also included this in case you wanted to make projects with it. So pretty. That's the one with the flowers. And this one I made into an envelope. So I pretty much glued here and here. So that's my envelope. And then I decorated that and I stamped it because as I mentioned, you can stamp it. So so pretty um somewhere else here is another page with the paint and here i also made a flip with this one that's the one we did yesterday so it has some orange in it and that's the one with the b that's the large stencil and so here's the page again with spider webs and let's see if I have anything else here. I just added extra page with the spider web again. So if you would like to see those, how I made those, then I'm going to link the video um, where I'm showing how to, how I use those stencils from Timo. So this journal is hopefully next. And for this, um, for these stencils, I was thinking to use them in a different way. So there are so many of them, but I thought what you could do with this. Let's see. So, yeah, I only have this plate, that this size, because I have so much stuff that I don't use. And then, you know... If I used it more often then, but I do have two more uh, in my Amazon cart already. So I will show you something too, something else. So I'm going to go over this. Pretty much cleaning my Thing. Yeah, um, getting rid of the paint. So you can, well, this one didn't come out right, but you can get this side much nicer. Not really, okay.
so let's do this one or uh, this one. Let's do this one. So I can see what we're going to get as a result here. This is regular copy paper, by the way. So this is so cute. So I was thinking you can cut these, um, not necessarily fussy cut them, but just kind of cut them and then you can still ink the edges and then you can embellish the journal with that, kind of decorate it with it. So next, well, let's see. Let's do pink. I kind of want to clean this first, so let me do that. I'm just going to get the paint off of it. That's pretty cool. I like this. Kind of like that shade on the sides. And then this one. Um, Wow, look at that. That is so pretty. And you see, I'm not editing the video so you see exactly what works, what doesn't. Coffee sip. Um, I love this. Absolutely love this. Let's make some other ones just like that. That is so pretty. So, that was this pencil. Uh, let's let's get this off this plate. Look, and look how many we got again. One, two, three, and we got one more, right? Oh, we got this one. So we got four. How pretty is that? That is so pretty. I love the colors. It's kind of like Halloween looking Christmassy. So I'm going to put this to dry somewhere. And let's do another one. As I said, there's so many of them. So let's see if this, I think this is a Dollar Tree paint. So I don't know how this paint is going to work. Well, at least it's not very watery.
that's going to be a beautiful uh, page for either Halloween or Thanksgiving fall journal. So which one I was supposed to use? Um, let's do this one. Wait, let's do... Let's do this one. So, so that's just regular printer paper that I have from shipping labels. The leftover part that I don't throw away. So this is going to be the other way around. And let's see. Oh, where's that green color? But you still have the pot and you have the bats. So, you know, if you use, uh, if you just stencil, because if you print it's the other way around when you uh, do it this way, but when you stencil, you're going to have it the right way. So, again, I want to do the same thing. I want to do this first and I want to clean the this here and again that's another page this you could even use for Christmas journal so where do I have all these pages Here. Kind of cute. I like these look kind of like bubbles in there. And another piece of paper so the ones with the words will not necessarily work but the images will so this will this is going to be the other way around so that is this one And we got, again, so many. And we also got this cool paper. So this will work for journals, especially the journal I just showed you. Just a little bit of paint. And let's do one more. I want to do this one and I want to use the purple paint with it. So this still has some stuff on it. So this is such easy project. Kids could do it. And I can use the other side of this to clean it. Okay. 
and I'm going to do the same thing I think I moved this but it's still cute even though I, I moved it and let's do orange so this is really cute and these stencils are very inexpensive so I think it's a cool project That's a lot of paint. I really go through this paper. So here, how cool is this? And then here. So you have this in two colors, super easy project as I said. Oh. I love this. What do you think? I absolutely love this. Should we do one more? What time is it? 17 minutes. Um, should we do another one or stop here? That's just, I just wanted to show you those um, stencils, what you can do for Halloween with them. I think these are beautiful. How cool. And then you get all the other things too. You can even paint, uh, give it some background. You can decorate it with things. You, you can make this into beautiful journal card. You can do so many things with this. This is so cool. Um, let's really quick do one more because once I start um using that plate i can't stop like i never use it but but once i start it's hard to quit so let's use something else this time really quick uh, where are they This is trying to get the ones that wouldn't have that. Uh, actually, okay, if you do this, if you put the plate the other way around, you will actually get it right. So let's try this one. Let's try this one because I like this moon and the haunted house. So let's do, I didn't figure that until now. So let's try it really quick. Um, purple let's do purple and white don't want this video to be too long and so I will do it 
this way it doesn't really matter because one is going to be the other way around so let's do this I have so much stuff here I'm just trying to use the paint that I have on here. So, so we got that pretty cool. And See, now we got the Halloween the right way. That's cool. Can't believe I didn't figure that, but it is what it is. Uh, white. Let's see. This is clean paper. I don't know if I have enough clean papers here. So that's white now. I'm going to go over this. And I need one more piece of paper. I can't believe I already used everything I had here. That's crazy. So I'm going to use this one. Kind of smudged this one is. And this one is not showing much because it's white paint on white, but you can still see it. So that's the Halloween stencils. As I, as I mentioned, I'm going to link those if you're interested. And so we got a lot of different things in here, but what I wanted to do, what I was interested in would be, this is still a wet, but I was thinking to it in that journal where is it use this somewhere in this journal like for example you can glue it to a page oh this would look pretty because I have the uh, this glue is probably not going to work but I'll still try end of the glue but it might give me just enough what I need this this would look pretty too on the tag but I'll do it here 
so what do you think do you like it i think it's so unique and um, you can use these pages in so many different ways like here but anyways this uh this journal is coming up next hopefully and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye